Welcome to the Whiskey Cantina. Take me home, country road. The voice you just did was pretty good. Huh? The voice you just did was pretty good. It was Kermit the Frog. Well, it wasn't Kermit the Frog, but it was pretty Pretty good. damn close. It was no Miss Piggy, but Kermit it was definitely... Kermit the Frog here. No, that's bad. That was terrible. That was worse than my Irish accent. Welcome to Whiskey Cantina. I'm Jared. I'm Ray. And we are here for a video. We are very excited. Thank you for attending our video. Thank you for attending this lecture <laughs> on bourbon. Uh, honestly, pretty interesting video because we got a very interesting bottle and we got a very interesting, what do we call them? I guess we can call them a distillery because they do distill. Uh huh. Well, uh, so when are we going to get to a bottle where you say, man, we got a really boring one today. They're they always all interesting. be interesting. Well, why not? Even shitty ones are interesting. That's why we do Well, here, this, find that. Story. Where's that, uh, where's New that New outlaw York? stuff? Oh, the <laughs> Gambler 500? <laughs> You ever heard of that? We got a pretty so. shitty video here for you today. <laughs> got some, okay, this isn't though. This is actually, so um, I want to call this, I mean, well, John J. Bowman. So what is it? A. Bowman Distillery yes. is the name of the distillery. Um, sourced, we found out. Yes, I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah they I mean, yes, they're a distillery because they do. They do distill. Um, yes. on, now on this one in particular, this specific line, this happens to be a new run for them this is a single barrel and it's a hundred proof mm -hmm. um but it is sourced from buffalo buffalo trace, trace. so it the company is owned by sazerac it's sourced by buffalo trace. yeah well we know for a fact that it was sourced by buffalo trace at one time mm -hmm. we just don't know for sure if they're still sourcing or if they're using their new make stuff yes. or if maybe it's a blend of the two that's what that's what we're not 100 percent sure on yeah um so we do know that buffalo trace did help kickstart the john j bowman line if you will and if this is coming from buffalo trace and it's the buffalo trace mash bill number one correct mash bill number one which we do know blanton's is mash bill number two because mm -hmm. i messed that up in a previous video <laughs> I, I wouldn't have called you out for it um I now that being remember. said uh there was also what buffalo trace mash bill number one now they source the new make yes. which is interesting and they age it on site at their distillery so first buffalo trace distills it twice there Correct. So triple distilled. And then, Good point. And then A. Bowman Distillery takes it back home. They distill it again, and then they age it there. In great old Virginia. Yes. You going to uh, sing now? No, I already sung. Okay. He's referring to my John Denver song, and it was amazing. It was great. It was a ballad. So, I mean, this is as close to, uh, we were saying, you know, being as bottled and bond as you can get, but obviously it isn't because it's source. Right. It, it's not a bottle and bond, but it's 100 proof. It's a single so barrel. It's definitely got the look of a bottle and bond. Yes, it's got all um, those things going for it. Beautiful cork. I love the look of the bottle. Um, yeah, I mean, I think this is a great looking bottle. It's really dark. One of the liquor stores that we actually um, helps us out a lot and really find some good stuff for us. Um, I actually got this bottle from him. This is Mason at Mirage Liquor. And he made a great point when I was buying it where he kind of compared this to smoke wagon as far as the next big up and comer which and if you think about it the name is getting more recognition the lines this single barrel is definitely getting more i take that back i made a mistake he he did not he he called it the next henry mckenna oh okay okay i don't know where i had smoke wagon on the brain for some reason henry mckenna which actually Sourced. makes way more sense because yeah the, well source that's why i said the smoke wagon henry mckenna is heaven hill but it's 100 proof. It started out at a cheaper price point. It's now a single barrel. It's getting notoriety. Um, supposedly, the juice is very, very good. So we'll have to see on that. Um, so again, I'm glad I remembered the correct. Uh, yeah, and uh, shout out to uh, is it Mason. Yeah, Mason and Mirage Mason Liquor. He really helps us out a lot. So definitely okay. a big shout Thank out you. to him. It smells good. It smells like bourbon. Ooh. It smells really good, though. I mean, you get those uh, caramel, brown sugar, molasses notes. Absolutely. Okay, dive into that. You're not getting any Ooh, apple. there's the green apple. The green yeah. apple. Holy crap. I actually yeah. went looking for it, and I found it. I had to use my good nose. <laughs> my good sniffer. Oh, man, yeah. Dude, that's green there. Apple. Holy I can crap. actually taste it. I can Ooh. taste it. It's, wow. I've heard some people say, like, fresh baked bread, but honestly, I can't get past uh, stirred that one a little too much. <laughs> That's never happened. It's not looking for a napkin. We don't have one. Uh, this um, smells great. This smells this wonderful. Smells amazing, um, and that green apple is bourbon totally Bourbon with the there. green apple. Yeah. God, that's there. This is gonna be a nut. I'm gonna do it. Okay. I'll see you later. 
Um, I mean, yeah, I'm picking up on those those quintessential bourbon notes. I'm getting some brown sugar and getting some vanilla, vanilla. But even as I keep smelling it, the apple creeps up more and more. And I more. see what they're saying about like baked bread. Like you get a little bit of that, almost like that soft like warmth from it. But honestly, okay. I can't get past that green apple. Yeah, I see like, what you're I saying. Really, like I really can't. Uh, I, if I had to pick a bread, I'd say almost like a white bread, because like you said, soft. Yeah, but it's like just like that soft, warm, mm -hmm. that smell you get. It's like a dull smell. But man, the smell is amazing, actually. Janky, janky. Yeah. Hey, that's great. That's spicier than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, it has a little bit of a... We don't know the mash bill. Nope, we don't know the mash bill. We don't know the age statement. We know it's between 9 and 10 years. Almost Which like I a little bit of a rye burn statement. more than an ethanol burn. Yes. Maybe an ethanol burn. It's hard to say on that one. Now, I'm though. getting the sweetness. Oh, man, it smells so much better after two. Yeah, more of the baked breads. Yeah, for sure. You know what's funny is the apple's almost not gone, but not as strong. It's still there, though. Still peeking through. I want to see what the second sip does, though. It's sweeter. Oh, that's good, man. I like it. I think that's just spicy enough. It's pepper. I mean, it's for me, I'm getting like black pepper, like cracked pepper. Yeah, fresh um, cracked pepper. Yeah, not 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 heavy, yeah. not making you want to like cough or anything. No, just sweet enough. Um, I, I mean, I'd have to guess this is heavier on the rye side. I could certainly be wrong, but there are some strong flavors to it. Um, that is really good. I'm really amazed at how strong that apple starts out and how subdued it becomes. Yeah, this is one where the nose does not match the palate. Right, which is very odd, and but in a good bad. way because the palate is interesting. Like you said, it's it's got rye in it. We don't know how much, yeah. but it's the right amount. Yeah. Whatever it is, is the right amount. And it's not overwhelming. That's interesting, man. Yeah. Wow. Um, if anything, the finish could, uh, is a little bit lackluster for me. The finish just kind of fades out into obscurity. That's a great point because yeah. it's not a long or lingering finish mm -hmm. at all. Um, now, for the palate, if I'm looking for the apple, I get it immediately, like right on the tip of my tongue, and then it's gone. And then the spice kicks in, the you know, the, the rye spices, um, the black pepper, it kicks in right after that. So. On the nose, it's sweet. You're getting that apple right the second it hits your tongue. You're gonna get a little bit, of that, a little bit of that sweet green apple, and then it turns into that spicy note. It's yeah. good, and then it fades away though. Exactly. I couldn't agree with you more. It does fade away. Um, it is, yeah, it is strange how it fades away, but that spicy note is good. I like it. I enjoy it. It is no, uh, interesting to note on the bottle. They actually mentioned that they do a copper pot still. Yeah, so yeah. yeah, so that was interesting to note that that's one of the premier things. So again, triple distilled, which. What else is triple distilled that we absolutely love? You're gonna put me on the spot and I can't remember, I'm sorry. Yes, you can. No. It's the not. Irish. The uh, triple that, distilled, that's the whole thing. Remember the Irish is triple distilled as opposed to the scotch. Okay. You and, know. And it's copper too, isn't it? It right? is copper, yeah. yeah, but those are pot stills, whereas this is probably a column still. They don't denote it, so I highly doubt they're using a, a pot still, so. He likes to put me on the spot. now. Copper still generally leads to an oilier um, whiskey, doesn't it? Yeah, which this I'm not getting much of. It's I, not I lingering, it but it's seeing it on the glass, glass a little bit. bit. Yeah. yeah, but I get what you're saying. The, the finish, you're yeah. you're dead on. I'm not getting that long burning finish. This is pretty good, man. Mm -hmm. This is really good, actually. Um, I can see I what I never say no to this. I can see what Mason was talking about, though, and I'm glad I remembered it was the Henry McKinney he compared it to, which obviously the Henry McKinney bottled and bond, uh, single barrel, hundred proof. Uh, which we love. We've that thing's won like yeah, we have every, gone back to that quite a few times. Every blind we've done, it's actually won. So, um, yeah. but this is very good, and that would be interesting too. Is we've got a lot more single barrels now, yeah. and I think we've got a lot more that can compete with the Henry McKenna. So it'd be interesting to do this. You guys want to see another single barrel duel? Let yeah. us know. We've got a good Jim Beam 108 proof single barrel that Raymond was able to pick up that we're really excited for as well. Um, so some good stuff coming down the pipe. But honestly. This is out still. Um, it's not great. a limited. Yeah, this is great. It's not a limited release. Um, there's this is still readily available. You can find this at local places. Uh, I know Total Wines carries it. So get out there, give it a shot, and we're not lying. We really enjoy this yeah. stuff. Cheers, people. Uh, while you're here, please take a moment to like, comment, subscribe. Let us know what you'd like to see next. Uh, let us know what you think of Jared's facial hair. It's amazing. And drink safe. Drink responsibly. Cheers. See ya. The hell's that? That was funny. <laughs> you I know, don't get it. It's funny. I don't get it. I just, it just came to my head. <laughs> you know it was funny. Fuck you. <laughs>
<laughs> I'm really this part in where I'm like dumbfounded. <laughs> uh, that shit's good though, huh? This I really, great. really it wanted you to try this. Something. Henry McKinnon. I'm, I'm not joking. I know that I freeze, man, but when you put me on the spot, I freeze. I don't know what to say. I get what you're saying, though. I, I would freeze, too. I'm sorry to put you on the spot like That's that. Okay. I do that at work, it and it bothers sense. everybody, too. But, yeah, it's all triple distilled. See that?